Hey everyone, my name is Mirai, and welcome to the long form uh, Zelda 2 Great Palace Upstab Block Room Skip video. So uh, it's a long, that's a long title. So let's just uh, let's get jump into full screen here. We got a full a few things to talk about. I should have some, I should have some notes over here. Um, don't forget about the other the other room. So there's that. Um, here we go. So I just wanted to show this off in real time, right? We did the video. Of course, the video has some edits in it to make everything always work the first time when it's you're trying to explain it. I didn't want to like be trying to break the number six block, you know, four times while trying to do the actual step process itself specifically. So, but um, that's probably a little loud. But you know, the not. <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly what you want to avoid, right? Because you don't want to do that. That's exactly what you don't want to do. That's in the video. That's in the video. So try that again, right? So sorry, I just, uh, that's not going to work. So there's that, that, that. And so here, here's the funny thing. Well, we'll talk about the kind of the evolution of how I, I figured this out because I had to dissect it. I did not have to watch a video. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm getting close down to the microphone here. So we'll bring it up to my mouth so I can be an adult. Um, so anyway, right. I say that you just, you just kind of push yourself, you know, you just push yourself, make sure you're up flush against the block itself, right? That this is the X block. As much as I edited the video with all the numbers and the X on there, now that I go back to do this, it's like where <laughs> I need my numbers. Where am I followed by numbers here, right? But anyway, when you jump, you can, um, if you have an emulator that you can pause, I, I'm pretty sure I can do it with this one, but I don't know the, the keys to do that. So whatever, but um you can pause it and you can see it. You can see that Link's shield is just barely clipping into that left edge in this color scheme. It's the left edge, the gray edge of the red block itself. And, um, you know, you are essentially trying to push yourself in, you know, one, two, two taps so that you can jump up and down here. You can't do that if, you know, you can't push yourself in from the left side of it. You have to push yourself in from underneath. But there's no special secret sauce there, right? You can literally just, you don't have to start up fly, flush like that. You can just walk over here and walk yourself right here. And I'm already in, right? I'm already where I need to be. If you already know where you're supposed to be standing on the floor, you can just walk there, right? But if you just want to make sure that you're aligned, boom, boom, now I'm good to go, right? So at this point, that little uh, step four, two, what I showed with the little bracket, I kind of indicated, I was trying to indicate that you kind of want to, you kind of want to get that that forward press into the block um, during a frame that happens, uh, that occurs sometime in, in that bottom, like 25 to 35, maybe you've even got up to a 50% window here of this this block itself, but like the, the bottom 25% um, corner of it. I'm not going to be drawing on this screen. That's why the tutorial is so nice to have with all the stupid drawings and the lines all over it and everything. That takes a long time to do a lot of that shit. So that's not going to be done in this video as, as much as I can avoid it. So you just have to know you're here, but you're trying to press forward right in that, that, that bottom 25% portion of the block. And then you clip through, right? And then you can finish it off. But um, this is the part here. This is the part here that I think I keep crouching down to the fucking microphone. <sighs> and I sit up straight here. So this is the part that can really get you. That clipping process takes me just, you know, just seconds now, just seconds. If I'm in a race situation, I can get through that clipping process, like no problem. That's not a big deal. When I thought that was the biggest hurdle to overcome, it's not, it's, it's not at all the biggest hurdle to overcome. This right here is the most dangerous thing because you're going to, you have to take it to the edge of the block and then you can just fall off. When you think you're going to jump and turn, you fall and turn and you attack. As I showed in the video, funny behind the scenes, behind the scenes look here. So when I talked about the different sprites of Link, it was in the script, but I didn't have the little note there. And I initially, I wanted to show a bunch of different sprites. I didn't realize that the Z2R, uh, the, the, Z2R ran the Z2R randomizer had a fuck ton of sprites. I thought it had like eight. And it's funny because I've seen this list before and I thought it was a lot back when I first looked at it. And I was re reminded that it was like 20 sprites in there. Some of them are just different colorations of, of Link himself, but I was going to show like the Staphos and the Iron Knuckle. And I was like, man, f forget this. I don't want to have to load up the ROM and record and take a picture and then mask all of that out and put that shit on the screen. I was just like, we'll just put a note. And then I forgot to put the note there on the first render out of this. And I was so pissed. I, and I 
there was this big gap of me just talking and nothing happening on screen. I was like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta re-render this. I gotta put this note back in. And at the same point in time, um, I totally forgot what, oh, and the other thing, the pop-up video that would happen just to the upper left corner here at this point, showing what happens when you break the block like that, right? But um, that wasn't originally in there either. And I was like, I really should probably put that in there because I'm talking about it. And I showed the other mistake that you can make by breaking the, uh, the X block accidentally. I should show this one as well. So there's a little behind the scenes thing that I've got this problem. Let me go off on a rant real fast. I have this problem when I make videos is that uh, it goes through such a rigorous process. I'm, I'm like this huge, like fucking perfectionist. And um, um, it gets to, like, I'm happy with everything I've done. We get to the 90% mark of, of, of having like so much shit just almost done and complete. And I'm watching the video and I've had the opportunity to watch the video a hundred times as I edit through it and make all the small little changes frame by frame and key uh, keyframes and stuff and every, all the effects that you add and everything that goes into it. And so I've seen it a bajillion times. And by the time I'm 90% done, I'm, I'm nitpicking all this other, these little things. I'm like, all these flaws are in this video. And there's so many times where I just want to redo shit in a video. And it's funny because I actually got to that point and I ripped some stuff out of the script because it was too long. That fourth step was a, was a lot longer. And I was like, man, I'm just fucking droning on about bullshit. And I was like, we got to cut this. I got to redo some of this audio. So I did. And that was, um, it's always difficult to do that because then you have to shift off, uh, over a bunch of video and layers and things like that and make sure everything still lines up properly and synced up with what you were doing beforehand. So anyway, this is still the dangerous step coming back to this. This is still the dangerous step where you have to, you know, you have to get to that six block, that number six block up there. And you, <laughs> you risk breaking the next block, but I don't like walking to the edge, walking to the edge. I see walking to the edge does that to me. I, I just can't bring him to that edge pixel. It's really hard to do that. So that's when I started doing this now that I have to do yes. So there you go. And then we cast fairy and we're out. And um, it's it's really not that tough. It's it's I've practiced this a lot, of course. I didn't practice this a whole ton before starting the video, but I felt I kind of had this down a little bit here. That's not too good. And then of course you you do you know you don't you don't need to. I guess we'll just do it the, the easy way. You put yourself up flush against the block from the left hand side. Then you can jump with the rhythm tap. Tap, uh, there's one, there's two. Now, what's really great about this room is that it's got the elevator. We come up into this room from an elevator, so there's more, this controller's gonna fall off my lap. There's more room to the left of us, which allows the camera to actually click forward like that. I didn't realize that, because I was looking for this room in this great palace, and I just happened to find it. Another, Sid, another, another tidbit of information behind the scenes is that, um, the the original Grey Palace, I probably still have that save in my Mezzan here, in my Mezzan emulator. Um, it was originally going to be in a gray theme. I had a gray and whitish theme because I thought that felt that that looked good against Link's, Link's green and brown outline. And um, ultimately, um, the problem with that was that the jump spell was tied to the fire spell. So every time I'm hit, attacking with my weapon, fire keeps fucking flying out of my sword and it's making this noise across the entire screen. I was like, this isn't going to work. And the moment you detach, like you go back into the Z2 randomizer and the moment you detach fire from you, 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 you no longer tether fire to another spell. It changes the fucking color scheme of great palace. I was like, God damn it. So I went to like this super muddy golden Brown, which of course blends right in with uh Link's outline. So that wasn't going to work. So I had to just play a bunch of seeds and eventually end up with a good colored great palace that really creates this contrast between Link's sprite and the background so that I could really show that close up. I know that when I, I freeze frame, I freeze frame and I, I kind of just mask out that, that portion. And then I color the portions of show where a shield overlaps and um, you know, where to start and then where you want to be before you start trying to clip through the block. But um, totally forgot my train of thought with what we were talking about here, but um, all right, the, how the camera clicks on this screen, I'm going to show another screen where it doesn't click. So you just kind of have to know where you're at. The click is a nice visual representation of, 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 of that you've moved in those two pixels. But once you just get good with this, and I had to get good with this on a, on a, on a layout that wasn't from an elevator side. So um, regardless, once you're here, I forgot what I was even going to show. I, I'm not even sure what I was showing anymore. What was I showing? I don't remember. Just doing it, I guess. I keep talking about it, but 
I'm gonna go first try, man, and we're out. No edits, no nothing, you know? I don't want to say it's like 100% reliable because it's obviously not. You risk, you know, first of all, you need fairy. You need enough magic to cast fairy. You need fairy and jump. You need enough magic to cast them both. And if you screw up at any point in time and you break that X block, well, that's that's easily a cast of jump. And depending on depending on where you're at, you know, jump here is cheap at magic six. It's only eight, but it might be, I don't know, 12. You might already be low on magic. Thunderbird might be right around the corner and Thunder may eat up, you know, most of your remaining magic. You may not have a lot of magic containers. It's not entirely, while it's not that difficult to pull off once you truly understand what the hell you're doing, and there's really not much to it, um, that doesn't mean that it's always going to be um, efficient or reliable in that sense to, depending on the Great Palace's layout and what you're expected to push through. And with the upcoming tournament, so we just got done with some tournaments and this is, this is we're, we're falling back into some of the history here. Um, on how we got to this point because I looked for information on try to, trying to find out how to do this because what happened was, uh, and we can get into a little bit of the information here. We'll jump back into this in a moment. So anyway, I watched a, um, I watched Light. Uh, and here he's known as Light Race. Um, I'll have cut this out in kind of a way. It's, it's, it's a restream. It's a 720 restream of the ZSR, Zelda Speed Runs. Uh, lower bracket or loser's bracket from the standard Z2R tournament from 2020, from last year. This is the first time I had heard about the fabled upstab room skip, um, but I had never seen it and I had no information on it. Now, to be absolutely fair, I should have maybe mentioned this in the beginning. Um, okay, let's just... Did I mess this up already? We're at 105. So light hits this room. I, I'm trying to get a, a better picture. On the, okay. So what I'm trying to show is that these this this upstab is vertical, right? The the blocks are vertical. There's another upstab room block uh, in Great Palace, which looks like an S or two, depending on the way that the room is flipped. This trick doesn't work in that room. I wanted to mention something about that in the video, but again, it was already so long. I know six minutes is is pretty long, but. Ultimately, I didn't want to go on about that specifically. I'd already done, redone the audio like four times at that point. I hate doing audio so much that I didn't want to jump into it. I figured I would just put a little note in the description to say this is like one of two upstab rooms that you can skip. And of course, this may just be a downstab room. You know, you may approach this from the other side. And that's what happens in vanilla. I asked this question to the vanilla Zelda 2 players is that, do you ever see this room, you know, in the vanilla Great Palace? And they're like, yeah. Uh, I think Trails had pointed this out and says, yeah, you do, but it's from the opposite side. It's a downstab room and not an upstab room in Vanilla Great Palace. So it's pretty much only a Max uh, Max um, or a Zelda 2 randomizer thing where you're going to get this in a flipped um, uh, a flipped manner. But um, not so useful, not so useful outside of like the true Max rando. But um, we do have the standard tournament coming up here in the second half of... Um, 2021 here but that's what i'm getting at is that i had i had heard of the fabled um upstab room skip and never seen it done until just this last standard tournament in, at the end of 2020 where light um oh, i said it was light race that's his twitch name uh light he also goes by light z or lightning did he not does he not do this he does this here doesn't he he, he hits this room three times in this in this run and here this is this is something else to note because when I first started this, um, I show this off by putting my shield towards the block. But I had recently seen a race between trails and chromaticlism where they don't do it this way. And I had not remembered correctly that light does it the way that I show it. So there's a bit of history here on me dissecting this. So again, I didn't have any information. Maybe there's a Twitch VOD somewhere that someone, like I don't search Twitch for videos, man. Um, maybe I'm too old school today. I just searched on YouTube and I couldn't find anything. So he accidentally destroyed that bottom block. You can't hit that. Can't break that number upper two block uh, from where that is. So he's got to start over. He's got to burn uh, more jump magic, right? So I didn't know. I didn't note that in the video, but obviously if you break things out, he broke the X block there, man. This is a great example. I didn't actually watch this all the way through here, but this is... Um, this is this is perfect, and then and then he he goes out, I guess. But he comes back at one oh six thirty. I've got some timestamps here, so one oh six thirty. He's back in this room again, so he's going to perform it properly here. He's going to get it done, but it takes him a long time to do it. It takes him. Um, this one might take him a long time. He's in here a third time, and it only takes him a minute that time. But here, you can watch the way he does it, and this was my fault when I'm trying to dissect how Chroma 
and trails are doing it because they did it in reverse. It was my fault that I didn't come back and look at the light one because this would have probably shed some light on the subject. No pun intended. Uh, that the way he does this is exactly the way that I show it. And you can see him bounce in like the, you know, he, he clicks in twice and he's there, but then he keeps, he keeps ending up banging his head up against the bottom of that block. And I don't, he plays on console as far as I'm aware. So I don't know if it's different on console. I'm not doing anything funny on my emulator. I've tried this. Um, I do, I do run, uh, I do use the run, run ahead option on for frames to eliminate input lag, but I tried this without using that whatsoever. And with full input lag with the USB controller and an emulator, which has horrible input lag, um, I'm able to do this just like normal. So, you know, I don't know if Light hasn't had a lot of practice at it here. He's a really good racer to begin with. He's phenomenal at combat as far as I'm concerned. And uh, just watching him struggle through this, the first time I'd ever seen it, I was like, this just doesn't seem worth it. And amazing uh, Ampharos or Am Ampharos and uh, Angry Demon Noises are commenting on this. And they're like, man, this is, this is taking a long time. You know, this doesn't seem like it's worth it. It seems like you should just get upstab in Darunia when you're there. That's not always the choice, though. You may not have the jump spell, and you may not have the fairy spell to get into the onto the top of the roof and get into the chimney, right? So again, when it comes to like a max rando race, you may not have the the opportunity, the luxury to have that full six gem clear. In a standard race, it's much less of an issue. But again, here we are with the standard race, watching light on a full six gem clear, having skipped upstab in Darunia, you know, getting get having running into this upstab room, and this actually being a relevant path to finishing. Uh, the race, and he lost this race because of this to Jay Coper, not to give any spoilers away. Um, but where's that video at? Here's this one. So this is taken from Twitch. Um, this was the Trails and Chroma match. We'll just look at Trails right now. And Trails comes in here. His stream was a little, because uh, it's a restream of their own stream, so it's a little, um, it doesn't look that great quality. Plus, I'm blowing it up for this video. But you can see, look at the way that he does that. They put their back, he puts, it's, it's almost like he's looking to clip the, the, the very tip of, of Link's hat or cap behind the block where we clip the shield in, right? Now, I don't, I, again, I don't know of any information or any instructional videos of this skip, so I was completely, completely lost as to um, why this, they were doing it this way. And when I initially tried to recreate this and, and dissect this, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do it this way myself. And uh, had I just gone back and looked at the light video from last year, uh, I would have realized maybe we should just turn around and try this. But both Trails and Chroma do the same thing. They both put their backs towards the edge of the block that you want to clip into. Now he gets it and you can get it this way. It's totally, it's totally doable, but you can see how he has to keep resetting himself and realigning himself. And this is really like, this takes, this takes a while as well. And so overall, I think the audience who's been watching the upstab skips doesn't realize like they're getting kind of a, a, the upstab skip itself is getting some bad press here because the people who are performing it, they're taking a while to do it. And I'm, that's not a dig on anyone here. Any of these players could absolutely f fucking kick my ass in any race setting whatsoever. It's just, obviously I've been working on this video for a while. So I've got some uh, practice under my, you know, under my belt right now. Come, come three months from now, if I haven't practiced the upstab skip, then um, let's see if we can get Chroma doing it here. If we pra haven't practiced the upstab skip, then maybe I will have the same problem. I don't know what room that's in where Chroma, let me just make a cut here. So here's Chromaticalism doing it. And he's playing on console with a, with a capture card that, or some sort of capture method that is a little less than stellar. So that's why it looks a little different. Again, Trails already had a bad restream. So these, when, I'm only saying that because we're blowing this up for a 4K video when we're looking at a 720 restream of something that's even smaller than 720. So you're getting the gist of it though. Does he not do it here? Oh, I thought he did it. He does come back. He does. Okay. Well, he comes back, I guess. So but he's going to do the same thing. He puts his back. See, he does the same thing as Trails was doing. And I was, I'm watching this as my most recent video to try to dissect this method. And I'm like, what is, what is the tech, what, what, what is being, what, what's the technical nature of this, of this skip here? What is happening? Right? So we can see both of that happening and we'll just come back to the game real fast. And I, I can show that we can do it that way. It's, it's odd. And obviously, as I've shown it here, you know, it's, this is exactly where we want to be, but if you're on this angle, you can see that 
you, you might not be able to see unless you really slow down the video or pause it at the right point in time. But Link's, you know, the back of him and the tip of his cap are all clipping through the block. So when you, you jump up, you do that. You know, maybe you can get it faster, but I don't know if that's the nature, you know, I don't know if that's the true nature of it. It obviously doesn't take me, you know, much time at all to get this, you know, to happen. I should, I should really just have a save where we've already cleared these blocks out. You know, just doing it this way. <laughs> now that I say that. Doesn't, it doesn't take that much, you know, it doesn't take that long at all to get that clip to happen. Just the most dangerous part is, is going to be this. And there we go. So, um, that's, that was my initial starting point. And I, I just didn't understand what that was about putting the cap and the back of Link to this block and then trying to do that jump. It just wasn't making sense to me. So, uh, I just, at some point, I didn't do what I was going to do by saving here. At some point when I kept screwing this jump up, you know, I was like, why can't I just, why can't I just stay like this? Can I just do it facing forward? And lo and behold, you can, right? Lo and behold, you can. So I was like, what is the point of putting my back now? To be absolutely fair, I didn't approach Trails and I didn't approach Chroma and say, hey, why do you guys put your back to the block? So I'm not, they're not attacking anyone here, not criticizing anyone. I just couldn't figure it out. And honestly, now that I make this video, maybe I feel a little dumb for not approaching them and asking them specifically why, um, I, that didn't happen or why, why they did it that way. But, um, we're going to go to the other room real fast. It's, it's, it's right up this, 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 uh, this great palace has three of these upstab rooms or downstab rooms, depending on which direction you're coming from. But this one is, uh, is legit. So here's the other one where we're not coming in from the elevator, right? So when we do the, um, let me just, let's, let's save it here. So when we do this here, okay. That's, that's why we save things. So as I was talking about, when you come up from the elevator side, you get to see the camera will move, right? But we don't, we get no camera movement here. You just have to know that this is where you're supposed to be right here. So if we're flush up against the block and I hit the button, the camera doesn't move. You just have to kind of know where you're at. And this is the room that I would have learned in was this room right here where so I didn't know that the camera would click like that if you come up from the elevator side, but there's nothing different on this. You just, it's the same thing every time, unless I break the X block, which is entirely possible, but there we go. And then we're out, right? And how long does it take? And I'm even talking through this. I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to the mic. We're trying to give an explanation and this doesn't take that long, but of course uh, you always risk breaking that X block and having to start over. So that's, about that, um, let's see here. Info on how to do it. Uh, oh, the one, the other thing I didn't show here. Let's um, let's just show that here. That's not the right. Okay, so I did put a note in to the tutorial that says if you didn't break the upper number two block, that you can get link. Um, so if you don't break that upper number two block right above the block where we just broke, again, there's no numbers on it, but block directly above the one we're about to clip through um, or the one just to the right. You know what I'm talking about. If we perform this skip, we're stuck. We, we can't, you can't do anything. You can downstab your way out of this, but that's a waste of jump, right? So that's what I was talking about in the warning that I put in the tutorial. I didn't specifically show a little pop-up video there because I was doing things and trying to concentrate on just getting people to concentrate on how to clip through the block. But uh, yeah, you know, as long as you do, as long as you eliminate this block that I'm banging my head into right now, before you try the clipping process, it, that's never going to be an issue. So there's that right there. Um, again, different Z2R sprites. We're in the other room. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I don't want to drone on for too long, although I imagine we've been here for a while, but um, that's it guys. Uh, that's all I've got. And uh, not that difficult. Not, not, not always going to be absolutely reliable or efficient, but really not that difficult to perform. I hate to scare people away from this because as I began to learn this and as I've shown here, as I showed in the video, which was edited, of course, except for that final one, that final one with, with this guy, 
This one was not edited. That was obviously that was a you know that was the first attempt at um getting through here. So you just this is this is at the very end of that other at the other the other video at the tutorial video. So you know. And then let's see if I don't break the block here. <laughs> ah! Oh, let's see. When you come from this direction, it feels alien after practicing the other side. Oh my god. Let's see if I can just there we go. And then we'll just uh I hate fairy in this game. I don't know why. It's so sticky. When you when you move on a diagonal, if you touch a surface, you just stick to it. I hate it so much. But um Yeah, so there you go. You've seen me do it a whole bunch of times. None of this is, is special. There's no save states being used here except when I reload to these to these spots. You can see all of it happening. None of it's being hidden like it was in the edited video. But um that's it, you know. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, maybe this sheds some light on something. Maybe not. Maybe you like the behind the scenes thing. Maybe you just like Mariah unedited. I don't know what to tell you, but thank you for watching. It's been a long one, and I will see you perhaps in the next Zelda 2 video that I make.